It's hard to believe it has been 20 years, but we're coming on the 20th anniversary of Calbert Chaney breaking the Big Ten's all-time career scoring record. Had a chance to have a sit-down conversation with Calbert. First question I asked are his recollections about breaking that all-time scoring record. Calbert, uh, I know you're a team guy, but what does it mean to you still after 20 years to still have the Big Ten's all-time scoring record? Uh, well, it means a lot. Uh, I didn't think at all that it would last this long because uh, there's so many great players that have come through. Uh, but with uh, you know the NBA being what it is and players leaving early, uh, it's been able to last. And uh, I guess it's, it's a, trem a tremendous accomplishment. I asked him what he remembered about the specific play and that specific shot in which he set the record. Uh, I want to say that uh, yeah, I think it might have been a zone, and I all remember is that Damon hit me with the pass uh, in, the, in the slot wing area, and I was able to knock it down, and and uh, you know it was an unbelievable pass by Damon, and luckily I was able to knock down the shot. It was a special team that Calvert played on. All five starters averaged in double figures, yet he was able to achieve the all-time scoring record. I asked him about his teammates. Uh, it was a very, very special team. Uh, not, not only because we, not only because we had very, very good basketball players, but we had great people, and uh, we were all had great com uh, camaraderie with one another, and uh, enjoyed each other's company. And uh, with teams like that, uh, it's few and far between. And uh, we had that group of guys, and it was wonderful. Calbert talks about the knee injury to Allen Henderson and whether or not it prevented Indiana from getting banner number six. And you know, you never know if Allen hadn't got hurt. You know, we were playing probably our best basketball at the time when he did get hurt. And uh, I, I think, you know, in the back of my mind, you know, you, you think and you wonder, but uh, maybe, maybe we could have, maybe we couldn't have. But uh, I know, from what I know, it was a wonderful team, and uh, I wouldn't give it back for anything. What was the Final Four experience like on that team that previous year? Uh, that team was probably our most talented team uh, and, and deep team. Uh, you know, we had lost, I think, uh, to Purdue the final game of the Big Ten season. Otherwise, uh, I think if we would have won that game, we would have won the Big Ten title, and then we would have uh, ended up being a number one seed, I think, in the Midwest. But we ended up being sh getting shipped out to as a number two seed out west. And uh, but playing in the Final Four was was wonderful. Uh, it was good. Uh, it was great. Uh, you know, Duke was a very very formidable formidable team. Uh, they were, you know, they just won the national championship the year before and. Thought we played pretty well. Uh, came up short. We lost by three, and uh, you know it is what it is. And you, had, you know, had, like I said, you have your chances. And uh, but you know, we all worked hard and did you know did what we could. It just didn't happen for us. Calbert reflects on Damon Bailey. Versatility, uh, heart and soul uh, of the team uh, for us. I think he was always the X factor in us being successful. Uh, if he didn't play well, we didn't play well as a team. And uh, if if we did play, if he did play well, we were very very good. I also got his thoughts on teammate Brian Evans. Uh, glue guy. He was the glue guy for us, I think. Uh, you know, he was able to come off the bench and knock down shots for us. Uh, anytime uh, I would get double teamed or anyone else get double teamed, you know, if, if they left Brian, that's, uh, I don't know why they would do that because he was one of our better shoes, one of the better shoes on our team. Another great player on that team was Greg Graham. Unbelievable defender, uh, unbelievable athlete, probably the best athlete on our team, uh, that we, on the team that we had. Uh, could do so many things well. Uh, when he first came in, he wasn't a very, very good shooter, but he made himself a great shooter. And by the end of the year, uh, when Allen, matter of fact, when my senior year, when Allen went down, he was probably the best player in college basketball. Uh, when he, you know, by stepping up in, in the points department, rebounds department, assist department, uh, taking on the point guard duties for us, and uh, you know he was playing excellent basketball. He, he just wonder, he was a wonderful, wonderful player. Had a chance to talk to Calvert about what Allen Henderson meant to the 1992-93 Hoosiers. Uh, I think the backbone of our team in terms of our, def our defense, uh, rebounding. Uh, to me, he was the most valuable player on our team for what he did defensively. And uh, obviously, defense wins championships. Talent wins games, but defense wins championships. And uh, he was one of those guys that he, he was tr uh, the trem a tremendous backbone for us. Talk about what Coach and I created with that team. You set the all-time scoring record on a team where all five starters averaged in double figures. So you were excellent yet the team was unselfish. Yeah, I think that just goes to show how potent we were, were as a team in terms of offensively. We had a lot of guys that could score 25, 20, 25 you know, a night if they wanted to. And uh, we were able to sacrifice, uh, everyone was able to sacrifice their talents and their abilities to, for, the, for the betterment of the team. And uh, that's what team's all about, uh, being able to do those things and 
and, uh, and, and we were very successful because, because we did that. I asked Calbert what drew him back to Indiana to help Coach Crean rebuild this storied program. I just thought I, I you know, I, I thought I owed it to Coach Crean and to the Coach Buckley and those guys to want to come back and, and, and help the program uh, uh, in any way I possibly could, uh, no matter what I had to do. And, uh, you know, it's been great. It's been great what Coach Crean has been uh, able to do for this, this program and getting it back on the map. Uh, and uh, man, that's all you can say. I mean, I, I'm all about team. I'm all about uh, doing whatever it takes to help this program be successful. And like I said, you know, Coach Crean, Coach Buckley, Coach Seltzer, who's at Sanford right now, Coach McClain, uh, got Kenny, you know, Coach Johnson here now, uh, and, and the rest of the, you know, the, the front office and everybody who's, who's been on, uh, in support of this program and worked with it for this program has been excellent. What does it mean to you that you're the all-time leading scorer in the history of the Big Ten at a school where Branch McCracken was the all-time leading scorer, Lou Watson was the all-time leading scorer, Don Schlunt was the Big Ten all-time leading scorer, Steve Alford <laughs> was the all-time leading scorer. It's almost like an honor that belongs to an Indiana player. Well, yeah, I mean, I, it's, it's just an honor for me to be mentioned in the same breath with all, of all those great individuals. And uh, to be uh, in that situation and, and having the, the, the opportunity to be, to be, you know, Big Ten's all-time leading scorer and Indiana's all-time leading scorer, it's a tremendous honor. And, uh, you know, obviously there, was some, there could have been some guys around the Big Ten that could have maybe gotten that record. Uh, but uh, luckily it's here, and hopefully it'll stay here for a little while. And how good was the Big Ten when you were playing? Uh, very, very good. We at the, at the time we were the best, comp, big, uh, top to bottom, we were the best conference in the country, just like it is now. And uh, every game was a tough game. And uh, and uh, so the, you know, the conference is back, and Indiana's basketball program is back. And you know, thanks to Coach Crean, and uh, things are looking up. Last question. We'll let you go. Mm -hmm. You've played in every NBA arena. You've played in some of the great venues in college basketball across the Big Ten as well. How does Indiana's atmosphere and fan support stack up? Second to none. Second to none. Uh, in terms of our fan support, especially our student support, uh, well, even when I played here, the student support, then we, so we had students here at the game, but not at the amount that there are right now. And uh, the way they bring, the atmosphere that they bring to the games is unbelievable. Uh, and, and obviously we have our fans who've been here for a long time, uh, have been big, big fans for this, for this uh, program for a very, very long time. The atmosphere, I mean, everything is second to none. The second, I mean, I've been everywhere. I played in the league. I was, I was blessed to play in the league 13 years. And, uh, but this is by far the best venue. Albert Cheney, Indiana legend, all-time Big Ten scoring champ, and one of the greatest players in the history of the Big Ten Conference.